I'm Kara Servany, and I was a postdoc at University College London in the Cell and Developmental Biology Department in Steve Wilson's lab. So the, the key question of understanding how cells basically decide, for lack of a better word, to stop dividing and turn into mature cells that don't divide anymore is really a fundamental question that scientists are interested in, in in lots of different contexts. Certainly in development when you know cells have to grow to build organs and bodies, that's very important. It also has implications for diseases, for instance um, in cancer or other developmental diseases where people have cells that kind of just grow out of control and don't differentiate at the right times. This is one of the first images I took actually as a postdoc, and I was a postdoc for about five and a half years. So it's a, it's a, a question that has been with me for a long time, and, and what this image shows is the, the region in the, the eye, specifically in the fish eye, that contains stem cells. Okay, so if this is, this is the lens, um, and then the stem cells basically are all around here like this, in this sort of flower pattern. The cells then kind of take on this radial characteristic, so then you have um, the cells that are differentiating into neurons take on this more elongated shape, and so that's, that's what you're seeing. And so trying to understand, you know, how cells, how stem cells basically turn into these cells is the question we're trying to answer. Last fall, I gave a talk at a small developmental biology meeting, and it just so happened that one of the people in the audience was a person from the Welcome Collection, and she was really intrigued by some of my images. You know, I sent them to her, and the next thing I heard from her, other than thanks, I, you know, I'm glad I got your images, was I just wanted to congratulate you that one of your images has been selected for one of the Welcome Image Awards. Around that same time, I heard that the Coke was interested in acquiring the image and I was also really excited about that because it's just kind of like this explosion of attention to something that I think is really important and really exciting. Biology can be really beautiful sometimes and, and that's what I think this image shows. It's, it's a powerful image and scientifically but also artistically.